Okay, update on the metals here. It does look like something is brewing. So we'll start with gold. And the, the fact that silver is outperforming gold is, is very important. So gold is still, the, the high for this daily cycle, I'll zoom in here, is still day six. We are now on day nine, seven, eight, nine, right? And you can see this has now a swing low, right? Again, as I always say, these details matter, right? This candle marked a, a low. You can also call it a fake breakdown. It's all the same thing, right? Once we go above this high high of 1855, 1855 call it, that was a high from this low candle, that's giving us a daily swing low here. And importantly, it's a higher low, right? This low is higher than this low, which is higher than this low. So we came up, made a high, higher low, made a high, this would be your higher low. We need to make a high above this day six high here, which is, you know, call it 1870. And this is the gold CFD, so the, the, the futures numbers might be slightly different. Same count, same, same exact idea though. And most importantly, on the weekly chart, we do have a swing low still, right? As long as we stay above 1850, basically, we have a weekly swing low. That would make last week, week 22, which is perfectly fine for an ICL, right? So that would be a 22-week cycle. We had this huge move up with war and all that. We had this huge spike. A lot of people said, oh, don't worry. This wick is fine. It's okay. Of course, it wasn't, right? This was the beginning of your intermediate cycle decline. This wick was telling you this this high was like ringing the bell. The intermediate cycle decline has begun, also called the weekly cycle. Same thing. We kind of consolidated here for a little bit. Then we spilled over. This might be the rebound, right? And so that daily cycle is how you play it on the daily level. We're now on day nine. And you would imagine if it's going to, if I go back to the daily really quickly, if we're going to get a bullish cycle, we, you know, we don't get a top until, you know, day 20, maybe. And, and I'm talking trading days here, not calendar days. And we do have the monthly candle closing in a couple of days as well. And so just important to know where we're going to end up there. And like we're going to probably open as we're most likely going to open as a inside candle in June. Right. So somewhere around here. And so we would need to make a high above 19, basically 1910 gives you a monthly swing low, right? So you'll you'll be above this candle, this monthly candle of May, and that will be your monthly swing low. And that's your signal. We're ready to kind of rock and roll. We're ready to go for, you know, the April high at 1996 and try to go, you know, for that, you know, again, back to all time highs, make a new eight year cycle high before the decline into the eight year cycle low. So that is gold. So the picture looks positive. We could have an ICL. So this would be week one of a new weekly cycle, is it theoretically, which is incredibly bullish, right? Silver is looking pretty nice right now. I, I don't love the look of these little candles. This definitely this definitely has the look of a bear flag for now. But at the same time, bear flags fail all the time, which is to say something that looks like it's a bear flag, like it's setting up a next, you know, the next leg lower could just as easily fail and then move higher, which it seems like is what ha what's happening here. I mean, to be fair, this is a nice big up candle. And then, yeah, you've got these small ones, but you've got this big candle, this big candle, and having a nice big one today would be really helpful. So that's a new high on day 10. The last cycle topped out on day 14. We've had bullish cycles that topped out in the, you know, some after day 20, more like day 25, 26, even one that topped out on day 34. I mean, this was a nice little run. So this is looking nice. I, mean, I do have a small position. Want to see how we play it, how it plays out today to see if it makes sense to, to add. It's, it's still, if I look at the weekly chart, it is very possible that we had an ICL, a weekly cycle low two weeks ago. So week 15, we've had 15 week cycle, like cycle declines before, like the COVID cycle actually bottomed on, you know, week 14. That was a 40% decline though. In this case, this is a pretty steep drop though. You've swept all these lows. So totally possible that 
in this case, this would be week two. I'm going to just mark it here, right? Because this is speculative at this point, but, you know, this is your way of getting in really early. So I, I already had a smaller position, and this is this this is where I'm considering potentially adding. You can see some major resistance coming into play at the $23 level, call it. Uh, 2330 approximately so call it another dollar from from here if we can explode through there this could get really interesting and then finally gdx very similar picture to silver almost identical count but in this case we are so the high is day eight at 33 bucks and we're still at 32.64 so this is lagging silver and in the case of this right we made a new so we did make a swing low but it's now red that is a bad sign that is suggesting that this or excuse me this consolidate this is consolidation and essentially just a bear flag and this week 15 was not your an icl which would you know cast some doubt on silver having printed an icl so it, it is important to to keep that in mind that you know Things are a little bit murky here, but I'd say the risk reward again position sizing is a superpower small position Might make sense. And finally if we look at platinum, I, I haven't you know updated this count in quite a while I mean, this is just grindy action if we look at the weekly chart just to get a kind of sense so Right, it looked like we had an ICL on week 34 and I'm inclined to think that we probably did which is not necessarily good news because it could mean that we're just starting another bearish weekly cycle because now we're on, we would be on week one, two, three, four, and we just haven't really made any progress. We're just consolidating here, which to me has a look of a this, this consolidation being a bear flag of this move. And so if you took a measured move objective on that, it would not be pretty, but let's just do it anyway. I won't count this wick. Right. If we even say it spilled over from here, yikes, that gets you into the, you know, 786 area. Interesting. We'll see.